What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's the big dog named Austin. Back at you. I know I didn't do the breakdown of the Colts Dolphins game. I got really busy, really, really busy. Been working on that back bedroom. Three weeks away from welcoming me in baby Noah into this world. Exciting, exciting times. I needed to do this video. I needed to break down a Colts victory. So let's get into it. The Indianapolis Colts defeated the Miami Dolphins 16 to 10. Anthony Richardson was bad. Okay, he's bad at throwing the football right now. Uh, his best strength, his his best quality right now is his legs. He took some hits. He took on some hits. He lowered the shoulder when he could have maybe gone out of bounds. He's got a lot of learning to do. There were some early misses. He had an early three and out where Anthony Richardson missed and Donnie Mitchell missed him by a lot. It was kept going from there. Anthony Richardson was missing some guys. It wasn't until the second half that Anthony Richardson started connecting on some throws. Actually, it wasn't until the end of the first half, right when the Colts got a pretty crucial field goal, right before the half, where Anthony Richardson hooked up with Michael Pittman for the first time in the game to get us closer in the field goal range. Hats off to Matt Gay. He was 3-for-3 three three on field goal kicks. One for one on extra points. He had himself a day. Awesome there. But Anthony Richardson, like I said, he wasn't good. 10 of 24, 129 yards, zero touchdowns. Didn't have any interceptions, but he did have a fumble kind of on an exchange. Uh, the Colts did win the turnover battle. There were two very crucial turnovers that the Colts forced. Segun Olabi. He had himself a forced fumble along with Grant Stewart. Grant Stewart had 18 tackles in this game, the most tackles by an Indianapolis Colts player since 2018 Week 2. You know who that was? Shaq Leonard. Like I said, Anthony Richardson is struggling to connect with his receivers. Let's go through the receiving numbers. Michael Pittman, three catches, 63 yards. Donnie Mitchell, two catches, 30 yards. And Alec Pierce, two catches, 15 yards. Now, one of those... One of those passes, which would have been a highlight reel pass, uh, was negated by a illegal motion. Trey Sermon, one catch, 15 yards. Will Mallory, one catch, 5 yards. Josh Downs, one catch, 3 yards. Look, Josh Downs is a key part of this offense. The fact that he only had one catch, 3 yards, man, you got to get him more involved. Now, Shane Steichen fell on the sword. Shane Steichen said... It's my fault that we didn't get it going. We didn't get it done on offense. Now, I wasn't at this game. I had to, I had to work. I had to watch it on replay. There were some boo birds coming out a little bit there in the game after Anthony Richardson struggled. Now, I, I've said it plenty, plenty of times before. We're trying to develop Anthony Richardson. Mental reps can only get you so much. Okay, mental reps can only, you know... And also, I'm going to continue to say this. What good are we going to get out of Joe Flacco? Sure, he can win us games. Cool. Well, he can get us a wild card spot, maybe a division win, maybe one playoff victory, and then we're going to be right back where we were with, with a 40-year-old quarterback. That's not what I want. We, we already saw that with Phillip Rivers. We had a fun year with Phillip Rivers. Okay, it's time to look for the future. It's... We need to progress Anthony Richardson. And the only way that he is going to progress is to play games and he's going to struggle. Damn it if he's not going to struggle. He is going to struggle. And, and I, it is ugly football sometimes. Watching those passes when we're so used to just pinpoint accuracy with, with Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck. We're so used to that. We can't expect that. Anthony Richardson's strongest attribute at this time are his legs. That's the best Think that he can do, and I think that in order for this offense to be more successful, I think he needs to run the ball a little bit more. Now, as crazy as that sounds, I mean, if you want your, if you want the best out of your quarterback, you got to run with them. And maybe the pass will open up. Maybe he'll be able to make some throws on the run, make some magic happening, magic happen. But at this moment, I, I mean, he's not a good passer. He was ugly, ugly early on. And he started to get it going late. And this rushing offense definitely misses Jonathan Taylor. Not that Tyler Goodson had a bad game by any means. 14 carries, 51 yards, averaged 3.6 yards per carry. He had a long of 19 yards. 
Trey Sermon, 8 carries, 36 yards. Ashton Doolin, 1 carry, 12 yards. Nothing to write home about. Now, Anthony Richardson did have 14 carries, 56 yards, 4 yards per carry. So that for what that's worth, Anthony Richardson had a solid day rushing. But once you get Jonathan Taylor back, I feel that this offense will be a lot better. But this running game without Anthony Richardson is very bad. This running game with Anthony Richardson, without Jonathan Taylor, is solid. This running game with Anthony Richardson and with Jonathan Taylor, if we could both, if we can get them on the field at the same time, would be so dynamic. We just need them to be on the field at the same time. And Anthony Richardson misses two games, and Jonathan Taylor, who's coming up on his potential fourth game missed, which should have put him on IR, but we'll talk about that later, maybe. I like that we won. You should be happy that you won. I'm not upset that we won. But Anthony Richardson played bad. But how about the defense, though? Gus Bradley's defense, uh, you can say what you want to say about it, but this week held the Miami Dolphins, the worst scoring offense in the league, 12.7 points per game. The Miami Dolphins, you held them to 10 points with a backup quarterback in Tyler Huntley, who went 7 for 13 for one touchdown. They kind of went down, down the field on you a little bit. Devin A. Chan, he had 15 carries for 77 yards. Raheem Moser had 11 carries for 50 yards. Jalen Wright had 5 carries for 33 yards. Look, they were they were kind of getting us, but the, the Colts' whole part of their whole mentality is bend but don't break. You know, don't give up the big plays, don't give up the touchdowns. And I think a big part of that was Grant Stewart, who, like I said, had 18 tackles. He had that forced fumble. Watch out for him to win Defensive Player of the Week. Um, came off of special teams. Did He played 57 snaps of defense in his entire four-year career up until this point. And then he played 60-plus snaps along with 23 snaps on special teams. So Grant Stewart, who is a dog, had himself a day, and he forced the turnover, and he pretty much saved the game because the Dolphins were going in, potentially going to score and make it 17-10. to and then you get the ball, you go downfield, 13-10. Get the ball again, 16-10. Now, they got ten, they got to go the length of the field with Tim Boyle. And Tim Boyle, uh, I don't know if he knew it was fourth down or not, throws, throws it out of bounds, throws it away, the Colts win. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell had two catches between the two of them in just 19 yards. Just how you drew it up. Jonu Smith had himself a day, though. Seven catches, 96 yards, and a tutty. So congratulations if you had Johnny Smith and your fantasy. If you had Jalen Waddle, like me, by the way, was a last-second add into my lineup. I'm like, yeah, Jalen Waddle's probably going to get his against the Colts. No. But, you know, I'll gladly take the L in a fantasy football league if it means the Indianapolis Colts got the dub. But does Anthony Richardson need to be better? Throwing the ball? Absolutely. But it's going to be a slow progression. He has not played that much football since high school. It is kind of scary, but it's the truth. You need to progress with him. You need to work with him. That's, that's it. And it's going to take him playing these games. I, I, can't make, I can't say any quotes, okay? This is kind of just things I've heard. But I've heard that it takes a, rookies about 10 games to get kind of used to the speed. He had a wild season last year. He's kind of had a wild season this year. I keep telling everybody, I really want to see Anthony Richardson string together three games consecutively, whether it's good or bad. I just want to see him play three, four games consecutively, no injury problem, not banged up, not questionable, not missing any practice. And, and I want to see how, how much he's improved in that time. And, and, you know, maybe that's too short of a sample size, but I, something, man. And this is just one week. We got the win. He didn't play well, but that's okay. I still, I still want to stick with Anthony Richardson. Okay, you've got to stick with Anthony Richardson. I hope that's not the conversation going forward. We go into Houston this next game. A big AFC South clash. The Texans coming off a loss to the Green Bay Packers. And the Colts obviously coming off a win against the Dolphins. That game coming up this next Sunday. So you've got to be on it. This is a huge game. We'll talk about it in another video. I appreciate you guys watching. It's been a very, very hectic week as I almost 
break my ankle stepping on a bat. It's been a very he hectic week, man. It's been insane. Absolutely crazy. I'm lucky I even got to this video. Whew, man, life has been crazy. And it's. It, I know it's about to change 10 times more with, with the baby on the way. But that's all I've got. I'm the big dog named Austin. I appreciate you guys watching. Go Colts.